What's up, guys? It's Lefty here, talking NFL Week 8. We got Eagles, Commanders, Philly, minus 6.5. I don't think Jalen Hurts is completely healthy, and I think this line is reflecting some of the reports and video that's showing um, – Hurts his knee uh, being injured. He was noticeably limping late game and after the game versus Miami. Uh, Sirianni is the type of coach that will suppress this news and downplay it as much as possible. Uh, and the reporters will downplay it as much as they can too. But the way Hurts answered some questions about his knee seemed a little fishy. It seemed like he was lying when he said, I hope it's not a thing that bothers me all year. Um, this is a divisional rematch. Philly won the first meeting earlier this month, 34 to 31. So it was a close competitive game. Uh, Philly closed minus eight and a half at home uh, in the first game. So this current line here uh, implies the market thinks Philly would be minus seven on a neutral field. Um, assuming Philly gets one and a half for home field advantage with the game in Washington, assuming one and a half for home field advantage for Philly would be minus five and a half. But when you factor in uh, recent performance over the last three games and with Washington losing to the Bears and Giants as favorites, that's where we get Philly at the current number of six and a half. Um, Washington really had no business even having a chance to tie the game late versus the Giants this past week. It wasn't anything Washington did to be competitive. It was just the G-men making mistakes late in the game. The Giants entered the game versus Washington, only having five QB sacks in the season. G-men had five sacks in the first half versus Washington. Sam Howell is on pace to be sacked 96 times this season, which is ridiculous. This season alone will probably take two years off of Howell's playing career. A guy is going to have PTSD by week 12. Um, of course, I'm joking, but um, when young QBs get sacked at such a high rate, I'm not joking about this. Uh, uh, some of them don't recover uh, mentally. David Carr comes to mind. Um, uh, not Derek Carr, David Carr. He was sacked 43 times in his first seven games, and he was never the same QB. Howell's already been sacked 40 times already this season uh, through six games. Um, there's really just nothing to like about Washington. I mean, this secondary is terrible. Um, they can't stop anything, and they continue to allow huge games to opposing QBs. And it's not like they're facing stud quarterbacks. They gave up 279 yards to Tyrod Taylor this past week. The week prior, they allowed Ritter to have his best passing game of the season with 307 yards. Uh, who else? 282 yards to Justin Fields. 240 of those yards were just to DJ Moore. Um, I think the Eagles should be able to move the ball through the air fairly easily. Uh, and their defensive front seven should be able to get to Howell. Um, the fact Washington was competitive versus the Eagles in the first meeting doesn't help them now because the Eagles won't take them lightly. Um, if I felt Jalen Hurts was 100% healthy, this would be Eagles all day, but it's the only thing scaring me from taking them right now is uh, him possibly coming up late week doubtful and missing the game. That's all I got for this one. Stay tuned for Rams, Cowboys. Breakdown coming up next. If you watch at the end, I appreciate it. Until next time, good luck with your bets.